Welcome back, friends, to Kahuna Plays Satisfactory Version 1.0, Part 2, Absolute Minimum Skill Level. In our last episode, we completed Hub Upgrade 4, and now Ada is going to tell us what we've won. Hub Upgrade 4, Landing Platform and Utilities Completed. Conveyor belts connect the output of one building to the input of another and transport resources. Due to past incidents I have been asked to issue a clarification. Portable miners, obviously, do not have a connection for conveyor belts. There is nothing to suggest, visually or functionally, that they can be connected to portable miners. If this is something you struggle with, do not worry. Fixit has alternative uses for all their pioneers. Next objective. Complete Hub Upgrade 5. Glad to know we won't be wasted. So what do we need for Upgrade 5? Well, we're going to need Iron Rod, we're going to need Cable, and we're going to need Concrete. And we don't have enough of any of them. So, we got to start building stuff and collecting resources to get all that stuff made. So, off we go to collect resources, and we'll pick up some of Copper some limestone and we'll quickly whip up some iron ingots here and some iron rods and some cable and some concrete all right we now have looks like almost enough nope just enough wow that was quick upgrade five hub upgrade five power expansion completed the miner, unlike portable miners, can be connected to conveyor belts and requires power to function. Caution: As you expand, the energy demand of your production may exceed the capacity of your power grid. The onboarding program was established because Fixit pioneers often experience memory issues after planetfall. If you are experiencing nosebleeds, nausea, existentialism, or an itchy scalp, there is no need for concern. This should pass within five to seven workdays. Next objective, complete hub upgrade six. All right, upgrade six. And apparently I'll have my memory restored in a week or so. So upgrade six, what does it require? Well, more of the iron rod, some iron plate, wire, and concrete. None of which I have enough of. And they're in quantities enough that I'm really gonna have to do some collecting. So off we go. Pick up some iron, and let's see, we'll pick up some limestone and some copper, and start working things away. We'll make the concrete first, and you know what, this is going to be better if I start to automate some of this stuff. Now I don't like to automate too much in the early beginning because it takes power. And that means i got to feed a biomass reactor, because that's the only thing I have access to. And that means I'm going to be running a rock, gathering leaves. Just going around, picking stuff up. But, let's see what I can do here. So, let's see, I'll take a look at... Okay, I'm going to need a smelter, so I can take some of that iron ore and turn it into ingots. But I don't have the parts, I don't think, to be able to build it. No, I'm missing iron rod. So I'm going to go nowhere with this smelter unless I make some iron rod, which means I'm going to have to make some iron ingots, then turn them into iron rod, and then I can build the smelter. So here we go. Let's make some ingots and some iron rod. I got enough ingots now that I can do the iron rod by itself, so I'm just going to whip those up pretty quick, just enough to make a smelter. Go over here and position it not too far from the biomass reactor, so I don't have to run a whole bunch of cable or wire. And we'll just sit it here on the ground because I don't have access to foundations yet. Now a storage container. Now, the idea with the storage container is I could just feed my iron ore into it and have that feed the smelter. I kind of like doing it that way, and I like setting up my early factory such that I can alternate between copper and iron in the smelter just by feeding it into a storage container. So I drop my storage container right about there. Give it a uh, conveyor belt to go between the two. Bang! Now I need to 
get some power. Well, let's drop in the ore first. There we go. Uh, iron ore. Great. So I got the iron ore running, but now I need to get power. Set that up for an iron ingot and head over here. Connect to the biomass reactor or biomass burner, should say. What we've got to do is just create a power line from here. We'll drop down a power pole and then connect that to the smelter. Of course, now I need to feed the biomass burner. So off we go. Let's take a look just to make sure everything looks good there. We've got the ore going. We just need power now. Oh, yeah, we also need a storage container to catch the stuff that comes out of the smelter. But I don't have any of that yet. So off we go. Let's go collect some stuff. And yes, I'm, I'm doing this at high speed because you don't really want to watch me pick up leaves, right? So we've got enough biomass now. we got enough leaves. We drop it in there. Now we got power. The smelter's running. Now I need, I think, more iron rod to be able to build a storage container. Well, get some iron plate. Make those. And once we got a few of those, we'll just go ahead and switch over to iron rod. And again, could I set up a whole production line to do these things? Yes, and I'll be doing that shortly. But a lot of times I can do this faster this way just to get things going, and I'm not using a ton of power, which again is kind of a pain in the butt early on. So I'm just gonna find a place where this is gonna sit. Oop. Right there. Okay. Now let's connect those two with our conveyor belt. There we go. And now those nice ingots come out. Of course, the ingots don't do me much good just to themselves. I could just manually make those, but I could set up a constructor to make my iron rod and plate. Except, you guessed it, I don't have enough stuff to do that. So, we're gonna come back over here, we're gonna make some screws, make a reinforced iron plate that we need, make some cable, make some iron or copper ingots, some more wires, some more cable, and plop down that conveyor. I'm sorry, that uh, constructor. And we don't have enough for another storage container. And the storage container is one is to catch it, but we also need one to feed it. And the reason I do that is because then I can just, as needed, take ingots out, whether they're copper or iron, I could take them out of one storage container and then put them into the other one and make the parts that I need as I need them. So we're gonna go run around, pick up some more supplies, drop them in the ore bin. Oh, running out of power again. So here we go, picking up some more leaves. And we head back, pull it up and boom power back on. Oh, gonna need some more though. That wasn't quite enough. So we'll spend a little bit more time going ahead and filling things up, turning power back on. And let's collect some more supplies because we've run out there. And as you can see, we're gonna do this quite a bit. Yep, we're just gonna keep doing that. Let me show you a trick I use. And this is how I control what's going in. Always put stuff in the order that you want your constructor to do them. So I put these ingots in the order that I want. Uh, that also accounts for limestone. And then just shuffle that, that order to make sure you got it there and things keep Potential flying. edible collected. If consumed before authorized is compatible with the human digestive system by Fixit, the consumer is responsible for any and all consequences. Store this potential resource for later use. All right, Ada, I promise not to eat it. Well, let's feed our burners more, grab them some more supplies. As you can see, this is something you do a lot in these early stages, especially before you actually complete the hub. Well, now we got everything we need. Looks like it. We're gonna complete the hub. Yes. Hub upgrade six, landing platform hydraulics completed. Freighter landing initialized. Congratulations, you have completed onboarding and achieved the absolute minimum skill level required of a Fixit pioneer. Fixit looks forward to your future achievements, because a future with Fixit is a future with you. 
Tier 1 and 2 milestones are now available in the hub, and biomass burners can now be built individually. Your first official objective is to initiate project assembly by building the space elevator. This objective will take a significant amount of resources, so Fixit recommends getting to work. All right, gang. Fairly quick episode. Next one, we're going to go through Tier 1 and Tier 2, start collecting that stuff. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.